Are the parties ready in the matter of Ellen Wagstaff Arden? The matter of Ellen Wagstaff Arden. Oh, present. Good morning, sir. It's uh, very kind of you. Just I... a moment. Wasn't I supposed to marry somebody? Yes, Your Honor. Well, let's get it over with. This can wait. This Arden case looks like a very complicated business to me. But, Your Honor, the Arden case... Yes, I know. It's a very complicated case. It can wait. What? 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 Who's dead? Oh, that's sad. That's very sad. If Your Honor, please. Are you Arden? Yes, sir. Just as I thought. Well, Mr. Arden, as I understand it, your wife, Ellen Wagstaff Arden, was aboard a yacht in a Trans-Pacific yacht race when it was lost in a storm. Yes, Your Honor. What's she doing in a yacht race, mother of two infant children? Well, you'll find the circumstances set forth in my brief, Your Honor. Yeah. Ellen Arden. Why'd you let her go? She loved sailing, sir, and when they offered to sign her on as official photographer... Why didn't you go with her? I was involved in a case, sir. And uh, we talked about it, and we decided that she needed a change. You see, she had a tough time with the children, with teething. And Never that. mind the teething. You're a lawyer. Stick to the facts. What's well, all there in my brief, Your Honor? Well, let me read it. Stop interrupting. Mm. There's a, mm, any proof of loss? On uh, page 7, I believe. Huh? Uh, you're on page 4. I Try know to... it's 4. Here it is. Page 7. When last seen five years ago, a wave 25 feet high. That's... Young woman, put that mirror away. Are you trying to blind me? Well, wash your face instead of painting it. Such a thing as contempt of court, you know. Don't you get me started on you. Now, where was I? Where, where, where was I? Uh, page seven, don't sir. Don't interrupt. Right? Just, just don't interrupt me. Survivors agreed that the said Ellen Wagstaff Arden oh, uh, was swept overboard before uh, aid, aid could, could reach, reach her deposition. Quiet. I could explain the whole thing. Your There's Honor. nothing to explain. The testimony is all here, signed affidavits, no evidence to the contrary. The law is very clear. I hereby pronounce Ellen Wagstaff Arden legally dead. Wasn't I supposed to marry somebody? Oh, yes, Your Honor. Us. What? Yes, sir. Already? Well, it's been five years. Five seconds in the eyes of the law, young man. Your wife was not dead until I said she was dead. Now, are you sure you wouldn't want to have a little more time to think this over? Mm, no, sir. Well... <coughs> Rheumatism, sir? <coughs> Arthritis. Are you sure it isn't psychosomatic? The price of carrying around those weighty decisions, you know. Are you a doctor, madam? Well, no, but... Then how would you like to spend the next three years in the penitentiary for practicing medicine without a license? You sure you want to get married? Yes, sir. We already have our plane reservations for Honolulu. <coughs> Marriage has always been an honorable estate in the history of man, and under this estate you have come. No, Nicholas, there's no need to explain. I told you, I understand. You don't understand. Now, will you listen to me? It's about Ellen. <laughs> Not really. Really? Yes. You just think it is. Actually, she's your mother's surrogate. My mother's what? <laughs> you see, Nicholas, what you really needed in your first marriage was not so much a mate as a mother figure. Not so much a wife as a soft, warm bosom for a little boy to rest his tired little head on. 
Now, isn't that what Ellen was? Well, part of her. So you see, there's really no need to be ashamed. After all, it's perfectly natural to be afraid of a relationship with a real woman. Oh, come on, I've been... Just don't lose faith in yourself, Nicholas. That's all I ask. Because I won't. Uh, he remembers me. He tries to bite everybody else. Oh, Tip wouldn't try to bite me, would you, Tip? Tip's my friend. Did you come here to see Mrs. Duncan? Yeah. I'm an old friend of hers. You don't remember me, do you? No. I do. Don't pay any attention to her. She's crazy. Are you going to stay long? I don't know yet. Uh, would you like me to? I don't know where you asleep. I don't know either. Yet. But if that could be worked out, would you like me to stay? I would. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> the islands when a man hurts himself and he doesn't want people to see him cry you know what he does what? he has somebody else cry for him how does that help you'd be surprised can i cry for you that's silly i'm glad i'm okay now <laughs> okay i have a splinter in my foot all right let's get it out I used to come to see your mommy, too. She drowned. Do you ever think about her? Once a year, I do. Once a year, I do, too. Only once a year? We take flowers to church on our birthday with Daddy. You put those flowers under that window? Which window? Doesn't she have a stained glass window there or something? Oh, that one. I think so. I forgot. Daddy said for 
we're going to get a new mommy. He goes, really? Bianca! Do you like Bianca? Can you swim? Jimmy, come here. Why? I want to hug you. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> you two, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you two kids are. What? You're my two sweethearts. My two best sweethearts in the whole world. <laughs> hey, you little rat girl. <laughs> well, here we are. Home sweet home. Later. Daddy's home. Did you order any carpentry work done, Doc? Maybe they're hitting each other over the head. Hello, my darlings. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Is that all you got to say? No presents. Presents? Well, what are you two doing up there? Building a treehouse. Treehouse? Well, come on down now and say hello. Come on. We can, Daddy. We have to finish this before the rainy season. What's the matter with the house? Did it spring a leak? You don't understand. We're on the South Sea Island. You're on a what? Oh, it's probably part of their schoolwork. You know, learn by living. <laughs> Which island are you on, dear? Jetson Island, the one like Mrs. Tick lived on. Mrs. Tick? Yeah. Miss Ingrid Tick. T-I-C, Tick, is Swedish name. Mrs. Duncan, give me position to take care of children. So nice meeting you, Mrs. Tick. Nicholas, shall we go in now? Uh, would you take these things in for me, please? Oh, no, I'll take Yes, no trouble. We have been waiting for you to come home. Honeymoon is over, yeah? It's just begun. Nicholas. Why is she talking like that for? Grown up. Nicholas! Aren't you going to carry me over the threshold? Yes. Such a strong man. Hmm. Oh! Darling, make Dr. Schlick, Bianca Russell. Oh, I mean, Bianca Arden. Yes, yes, it is a rather interesting slip. Dr. Schlick, I do hope you don't mind my calling you at this late hour, but I just got back from my honeymoon, and I just wanted to tell you how, how marvelous everything is. Well, Nicholas does have a few little props. But I'm dealing with everything very rationally. Yes, yes, I am quite proud of myself. Thanks to you, Dr. Schlick. Oh, no, no, no. Thanks, fine. Just fine. Put out the light, please, darling. Bianca! I love to hear you say my name. Come here. Now where are you going? I forgot to turn off the light. Too dark. I like it that way. Bianca, I've got to tell you something. Not until you come to bed. Now! I won't listen. You gotta listen. What's 
the matter with you? I don't feel so good. Well, put on your pajamas and come to bed. I'll make you feel better. Go on. But come right back. You won't fall asleep. I won't. Schlick, Bianca Arden again. Oh, no. No, everything's just fine. Well, yes. That's exactly the way he is acting. Oh, well, yes, I do know it happens very often. Well, yes, I've been very understanding. Oh, just, just a minute. Now, do what? Mm -hmm. Well, I am calm. Yes, I've tried that, too. That's a very good idea, Dr. Schlick. Thank you, Dr. Schlick. Draft out there. Sit down here. Just catch cold. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour of the night. I'm Johnson of the American Life and Accident Assurance Company. Come right in. I need all the insurance I can get. Well, thank you. Oh, right up here. You know, I did have the privilege of meeting you at a damn father's pack night some months ago. Oh, yes. How could I? Upstairs, we'll have a drink. Oh, no, I don't drink, but you go right ahead. All right. Say, I hope you'll forgive me for getting you out of bed. Oh, I'm glad you came. My, you have a lovely place here. Oh, you like it? I hope you got everything covered completely. Swimming at this hour? Oh, we're an outdoor family. Oh, my, listen to that splashing. Must be doing the breaststroke. Yeah. I hope the pool is heated. It's being heated right now. Now, Mr. Arden, have you received any communication from your first wife, uh, Ellen Wagstaff Arden? What? I mean, any letters, telephone calls, telegrams? No, just as I thought. Oh, our district manager, Mr. Fowler. He's such a fuss budget. He wants to check everything. Of course, it's customary for a company to check when they put out a large sum of money. <laughs> but this is so ridiculous. What are you talking about? Well, they have a report, actually a rumor, that a woman answering the general description of your first wife was picked up by an American submarine. 
Well, to tell you the truth, As I was, was a uh, young man answering the general description of Stephen Burkett, who's reported drowned the same time your wife was. Oh, it's absurd. Would you say that again, please? Oh, it's really not worth repeating. A man was rescued at the same time as my wife? A young man, according to this unverified rumor. They were on this island together for five years. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? What else did your district manager hear? Well, nothing, really, but it seems that he talked to someone who talked to someone else who spoke to one of the sailors. Well, I have it here. The sailor said, the woman called the man Adam. Adam? A far cry from Stephen. <laughs> oh, it's just too absurd. What did he call her? Eve. Eve? Adam and Eve. Oh, a delightful fancy. A yeah, delightful. <sighs> well, I guess I'll run along now and... Thank you so much, Mr. Arden. I'm sorry to have troubled you at this hour. But that Fowler, he does get my dander up. He never admits he's wrong. Well, I can't wait to see the expression on his face. Don't bother. I know my way out. Oh, do you mind? No, go. Thank you. Adam and Eve. <laughs> You enjoy your swim? I always used to take a moonlight swim on the island. With Adam? Adam? Did you always take a moonlight swim on the island with Adam, Eve? Oh. Adam and Eve. Hm. I was afraid you'd misunderstand about that. Oh, what's to misunderstand? A man's wife spends five years on an island with a strange man. Would you like it any better if I knew it? And it slips her mind? Well, I was going to tell you, but I know how upset you get about little things. Little things? First of all, you misunderstand. You see, he was trying to get the boat through the surf. He broke his leg. He was laid up for six months. Six months? That still leaves four and a half years. All you can think about is the way I behaved with a poor little man who wouldn't harm a fly. Why don't you think about uh, telling her that your wife's back? No, that wouldn't occur to you, would it? I was going to tell her. I was going to I mean, how long does it take a man to tell a woman that his wife's back? That his wife's back? Shh. It takes two seconds. I just did it in two seconds. You've had two days. Don't change the subject. Oh, any excuse for That's why you're picking on Adam. If only you could see Adam. Gentle, harmless Adam. I'd like to see him. I'd like to thank him for all he did for you. I've already done that. I want him to know how grateful I am. I told him I knew you'd be. Where's he now? The YMCA. YMCA? Yes, he lives at the YMCA, and he loves it at the YMCA. What else do you want to know? Yes? It's not there. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Arden. Oh, Miss Worth, I want you to find a Stephen Burkett. Now, this is very important. Drop everything else. I tried all the hotels. You tried the country clubs, the men's clubs, the athletic clubs. The YMCA. I tried the YMCA. Just find it. Yes, sir. Oh, Miss Worth, would you come here, please, to uh, sit down? Uh, uh, from a, a, a woman's point of view. Yes, sir. I have a, I have a client who's in great distress. You see, his, uh, his wife has uh, been unfaithful to him. For how long? What's that got to do with it? Well, some people look at these things one way, and some people look at it another. 
five years. <laughs> she must have been a pretty smooth operator. The circumstances were highly unusual. The wife should be forgiven. Always? Oh, well, of course, you ball her out a little bit. You don't want her to keep at it. But you know, the er is human and all that sort of jazz. And if the husband... Oh, that's quite different. He has a wife waiting for him at home. Thank you, Miss Worth. Just find Stephen Birkin. Yes, sir. Going out with the children, Mrs. Tick? Yes, my day off, madam. Dr. Schlick, the pattern is perfectly clear to me now. It's practically a textbook case. There's only one little thing that bothers me. Oh? No. Now, I could understand it if I repelled him, but his not being able to... Well, that would make it more understandable, yes. And I happen to know that Nicholas is mad about me. I see. That's why it's so maddening, this... this shine. Hmm. Well, now... <clears throat> now, you say that even though... Joe, oh, there you are. That won't be necessary here. It's, that's a, yeah, just get right up. <clears throat> now, you say that even on your wedding night... Uh, that's right, Doctor. Uh, even though you were... Uh, Naturally. Uh, including... Of course. Mm -hmm. Amazing. You know, it's, it's almost as if... Oh, it is indeed, yes. Also. Yeah, really? Even I... Oh, extraordinary. And you, uh... Yes, you, yes, you yes. tried a little of that. Well, then, I, I don't, uh... Hmm. Yeah. Uh... Man must be crazy. No, I hope not, Doctor. I like to think that Nicholas is just simply... insecure. But he's got me so... Yes, yes. <laughs> I can see that. Yes. Dr. Schlick, will you stay with me today? Oh, well, I, uh... Not here. We'll go out for lunch. After all, I have finished my analysis, and you wouldn't have to worry about breaking any rule. What rule? Would you? Well, I do have some other appointments, but if we, uh, uh, I, could I use your telephone a minute? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Stephen Burkett, please. Oh, he's not in his room. Would you have him pays, please? Mr. Burkett? Mr. Burkett? 
Excuse me, are you being waited on? Not yet. I could wait on you. Thank you. Um, do you have this shoe in a six and a half triple A? We have that in all sizes. Uh, if you sit over here, I'll get it for you. Thank you. We carry that model exclusively in the genuine Bengal crocodile. That's the true or saltwater crocodile. Found also in South China, Northern Australia, the Fiji Islands. Of course, there is the freshwater crocodile found in Rhodesia and parts of North America. But they make inferior footwear. Are you free for lunch? Uh, that is, uh, inferior footwear is made from them. The crocodiles themselves don't actually make... Will you have lunch with me? I... I, I bring my lunch to the store. I'd be so grateful if you'd take it out. Oh. I guess my foot's grown. Mm. Go barefoot for five and a half years. Stephen, really. Stephen Burkett. You wanted to meet him, didn't you? Well, here he is. Here he is. Well, well, so this is Adam. Pleased to meet you, Nick. Oh, well, sit down, Adam. Take a load off your feet. Thank you. I really don't have very much time. I'm making a report to the Geographic Society on the flora and fauna we found on the island. Mm -hmm. I was very excited by the island's vegetation. I'm afraid I spent so much time in research, I wasn't very good company for your wife. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she understood. Eve uh, said uh, you had some questions you wanted to ask me, Nick. Oh, he has. Ask him. Ask him anything. Well, let me see. Oh, what kind of an island was it? Uh, oh, I'd say it was a, uh, an ordinary island, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? Mm, like the rest. Small island? Not small. Not large. Medium. Jungle? Jungle. Yeah, trees, vines. Trees, yes. No vines. Well, yes, vines, too. Water. Well, yes, all around. That's one of the nicest things about Adam. He doesn't talk your ear off. <laughs> I suppose you lived in tree houses. Well, uh, huts. We lived in huts. Yeah, separate huts. Even during the rainy season? When it rained, we moved on up into the trees. Separate trees. Anything else you want to ask? I don't think so. I got a good, clear picture. Well, then shall I be running along? Oh, must you? Oh, the Geographic Society insists on punctuality. <laughs> well, uh, drop in again, Adam, and we'll talk about the uh, flora and the fauna. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Eve. Goodbye. Adam? Watch it. Completely. Now, aren't you ashamed of those suspicions you had about me? Terribly. Mm. Cousin Gordon, thank you. Cut. 